Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome back to another episode of the FAQ series. Today, we're going to be discussing one of the most important aspects of your recording, how to set your microphone's gain or level. Okay, so I'm gonna try to keep this video as short and to the point as possible. So if you just want a very short answer, go ahead and set your gain so you're hitting around negative 12 to negative six decibels. But if you wanna know more, go ahead and keep watching the video and I'll break it into three separate parts. What is gain? How do you set your gain? And how does gain affect your sound? And I'll also go ahead and throw some additional reading down below if you wanna read more about microphone and preamp gain. Part one, what is gain? Well, gain is basically how much you are amplifying or increasing the level of your microphone's output signal. And you do this because microphones output signals are insanely quiet, ranging from negative 30 down to negative 70 decibels, and that needs to be increased to get it to a level that you can actually work with. And that's exactly why we have preamplifiers. And just to clarify this, preamps can come as standalone units like this guy right here, or they can be built into USB audio interfaces like this guy. So for example, if you have a preamp that has a gain range of plus six all the way up to plus 66 decibels, that that means the least amount that you can amplify your signal is plus six, and the greatest amount that you can amplify your microphone's output is 66 decibels. And that pretty much covers what gain is and what it does. I know it wasn't an exhaustive explanation, but it gives you a general gist. Part two, how do you set your gain? And actually, before I answer that, I want to address a question that I get all the time, and that question is, what is the best gain setting on this preamp or this USB microphone? And to put it simply, there's no absolute answer here because there are multiple variables that you have to consider when you're setting your preamp's gain, and of course we're gonna cover those right now. The first factor is the loudness of the sound source, and in this case, my voice is the sound source. So if I was talking really quietly, I would have to increase the gain on the preamp. Or if you're recording a really loud guitar amp, you would have to set your gain significantly lower. The second factor is the distance between the sound source and the microphone. So right now I'm at a decent distance, but if I was farther away, I would be much quieter and would have to increase the gain on the preamp. If I was a lot closer, I may have to consider bringing down the gain on the preamp. So depending on the distance between the sound source and the microphone, you'll have to adjust your gain accordingly. And the third factor is the sensitivity or output level of a microphone. So if you have a quieter microphone like a dynamic or a ribbon, you will need significantly more gain. But if you're using a standard condenser microphone, typically those have higher outputs, so you need less gain. So now that you know what factors impact the amount of gain that you need, what level should you be shooting for on your meter? And honestly, I've heard a lot of different opinions on this topic. I've heard some people say you need to record at negative 18 dB, and then others say you need to record at negative 6 dB. And when I say you're recording at negative 18 or negative 12 or negative 6, that is where your peaks will be. The loudest part of what you're recording should be hitting that level. And the reason you'd record using this method is to gain headroom. And what that is, it's the difference between the loudest part of your recording and zero decibels where you begin to clip. So for example, if I'm recording spoken word and I set my preamp gain so I'm hitting around negative 10 decibels on my meter, my speaking voice can get 10 decibels louder before I start hitting zero decibels and start clipping, distorting, and ultimately ruining the recording. But on the other hand, if I were to set my gain too high so I'm hitting around negative one decibel, I would have to be very consistent with my tone and my speaking volume to avoid any peaks in level and avoid clipping and distorting the recording. I think what it really comes down to is how dynamic the sound source your recording is. And what I mean by that is how much variability and volume does a sound source actually have. So with all that being said, now I'm going to go ahead and actually show you how to set your gain. I'm currently running the BP40 direct into the 2i2 second gen and up on screen right here you can see that I got Logic Pro X running. So since the Focusrite doesn't have a decent meter, I'm gonna go ahead and just use the meter on Logic Pro. And as you can see, with just a normal speaking volume, I'm hitting negative 14, negative 11 decibels. And in case you don't know where to find a meter, pretty much every piece of recording software or DAW that I've come across over the last decade or so has had one built in. But if it does have a volume fader, which is this slider right here, make sure it's set to unity gain or zero decibels so it doesn't affect the reading that you're getting. Now I'll go ahead and decrease the gain of the preamp to zero and just slowly increase it while I'm speaking into it to show you what I would look for when setting my gain. Now we'll just go ahead and slowly start increasing it. As you can see on my meter, negative 29 decibels, negative 25, negative 20, negative 20, negative 17, negative 14, 
There we peaked at negative 7.7, so we'll go ahead and roll it back a little bit. And let's go ahead and clear the meter so we can see what we're actually hitting now. And when I get a little bit excited, I'm hitting around negative 11. And that gives me a lot of headroom to go from if I do get even more excited and scream into the microphone. Lots of headroom to play around with. And that's how I set my game. Part three, how does gain affect your sound? And I'm not gonna sit here and wax poetic about the subtle coloration added to your recording by driving your preamp tube, man. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna talk about the measurable and really noticeable impact on your sound. So the first and the most prominent impact that I've come across online stems from people setting their gain too high. And that will ultimately lead to you clipping. And if you are recording digitally, that is just terrible and it will ruin your recording. So here's an example where I set my gain too high. So I'm hitting around negative one decibel, which is fine when I'm speaking normally. But then if I get excited, it starts clipping and distorting and sounds terrible. And once that's recorded into your audio, there's almost nothing you could do to salvage that. So either you will have to come to terms with a terrible sounding recording, or you'll just have to go ahead and re-record it. And the second impact, which I come across much less, stems from people setting their preamp gain too low. And what that does is if you have a subpar preamp, the sound source that you're recording can now get mixed up or lost in the noise floor of that preamp. So here's an example where I recorded the signal too low and my peaks are hitting around negative 30 decibels. So that means that in post, I'll have to go ahead and boost this 30 decibels to make it a decent listening level. And the problem with that is I'm not only boosting the microphone or the sound source that it's recording, but I'm also boosting the noise floor that's inherent to the preamp. And to show you the real flaw here, I'm gonna shut up so you can hear the noise floor. And to really drive home the point, now I have my gain set appropriately, so I'm hitting around negative 12, negative 9 decibels on my meter. I know this personally gives me plenty of room to play with in terms of headroom, and it gives me a pretty good signal-to-noise ratio. And to illustrate that, I'll go ahead and shut up so you can hear the noise floor. Well, I think that's going to do it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful, and I hope to hear a lot less clipping and a lot less noise in your recordings. Also, let me know in the comments down below if there are any topics that you want me to cover like this in the future. If you did find it helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you hated it, thumbs down. If you want more videos like this, go ahead and click the logo beneath me. Also, check out the Discord server, link in the description, and I will see you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.